<clears throat> Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is just going to be a few things that I um, purchased from MAC and then also from the CCO, which if you're not familiar with what a CCO is, it's just a outlet store that you can find at the outlet malls. It um, stands for Company, Company, Company Cosmetic Outlet. And you can find some of the higher um, prestige brands at a discount like Estee Lauder, Clinique, Mac, Smashbox, Bobbi Brown, and um, Tory Burch. And here recently they've started carrying some um, Tom Ford items and that was what I purchased was Tom Ford. So I'll start with those and then I'll move on over into um, what I purchased from Mac. So I did get a lipstick from Tom Ford and um, it is called Negligé is the color and I was trying to see what formulation it is but it doesn't say on the box. I don't know and I'm not familiar with, with these. Anyway, um, normally a Tom Ford lipstick is $50 and at the CCO it was $35 so it kind of really brings it down to like you know a more affordable definitely price point and they didn't have a whole lot of colors to choose from and they definitely didn't have a whole lot of colors that was more what I gravitate toward like a red lipstick but I thought this one was pretty and would be for um, for fall and I wish fall would hurry up and get here because today well actually the last three or four days it's been like over a hundred degrees here in Oklahoma and I couldn't even begin to tell you what the heat index is. It's just been crazy. And um, last week we had a massive, massive storm that came through eastern Oklahoma and took out, well, like on our property, it took out at least 20 trees. So we've been having to cut limbs and cut trees down and haul limbs. And it's just been, it's been horrible because we couldn't just, keep waiting until it cooled down because we had today is Sunday we had a showing today because our house is on the market for sale so we had to get out in that horrible heat and work on getting it cleaned up and it's just been it's been a nightmare it's been so hot trying to get out there and haul limbs anyway then the other items that I got from the CCO is from Tom Ford also which I already said that, but the um, blushes, I got blushes. So um, this one is the number one Love Lust. And it looks like this here, which is just like a peachy color. Really have been into a lot of peach colors this summer. And this is just really pretty. That is it right there. Hopefully you'll be able to see a pretty good showing of that it has a sheen to it so definitely would not have to wear any kind of highlight with that because it already has a highlight built into it but it's really pretty so I got love lust and then I got um three of the eye and cheek shadows and plum peach and pink and it's ombre all of them are ombre and they all came in the tom ford um box and the little um pouch I have just already have dismantled everything and gotten rid, rid of those so that's why you're not seeing the pouches but everything came in a box everything was in the pouch everything had the little um, brush I don't use those but I do keep them I keep them in my little drawer over there but this is the um, this is the mauve ombre and supposedly you can use these on your cheeks and as eye colors and there it is all swirled with the ombre and I will tell you that um, it does take a little bit to build these up as far as color goes on the cheek but once you do I mean it's really pretty and I know there wasn't that good of reviews on these but I liked them and I think normal price for these were 65 and at the CCO they were 45 so little bit of savings and as we all know that Tom Ford never goes on sale here's the other one this one is peach and that one still has the brush in it and there's the peach 
let's see, maybe I can swatch it right there. See, it's just a very light, definitely more on the sheer side, which is fine, especially for someone of my age. I probably don't need to be doing super, super bright cheeks. And I was going to tell you, too, um, you would have already seen this haul, but I wanted to mention this, this palette here. I talked about this pink color, using that as a blush, and that is the blush that I'm wearing today. It really did work out to be a really pretty um, blush. Um, I just used a smaller dual fiber um, blush brush and put in there, and it worked out really good. Just thought I'd mention that. And then the last one was in pink ombre. And that's the pink. You can definitely see the ombre there. So, I don't know about this color being on the eyes. I think probably the one that I would be more gravitated on putting on the eyes would be the, um, the plum colored one. But there is the peach ombre. Which is pretty also. But yeah, just pretty, pretty light. Definitely have to build them up um, if you wanted a lot of color payoff to those. So... Anyway, I can kind of see why they didn't get as good as um, review as his normal blushes would. But anyway, so that's what I got from the CCO. Quite pleased with my purchases. And then I did place an order with MAC. I might do it on MAC's website because I get a pro discount. Um, I don't get a pro discount at the counter because the only MAC counters that we have here around me are in like Dillard's and places like that. It's not a freestanding MAC. So, um, I got some, um, just some basics. Basics being some eyebrow pencils. I actually got three of them. And it's just the eyebrow pencil in the color um, Lingering. And I really do like this pencil, and because I get the discount, it kind of brings it down to, like, Nick's pricing. But there's what it looks like there. I'll swatch it. It is what? Well, I don't have to swatch it because it's the color of eyebrows that I'm wearing. But I'll swatch it anyway. Just so I can say, yeah, I swatched it. There it is right there. It's a little bit... It's a taupe, but more on the darker brown side, and I want to say more of a cool, cool color versus warm. It doesn't have any red in it at all. It has a little bit more the taupe or grayish color, which I think works out really well with my coloring and the natural color of my eyebrows. So I did get three of those, and then I got um, some more staples, some more brushes. Um, this one is the number 221. It's just a really fine tapered crease. I just did a giveaway with these and um, did this in a giveaway, but I really like it, especially if you have small hooded eyes like I do. It's really good for getting right into that crease and doing really good detailed crease work. So I got another one of those. And then I got um, another 239, which is just a flat shader brush. Um, this probably, this brush right here is probably the very first MAC brush that I ever purchased um, 10 years ago, at least 15 years ago, and I still have it. I'm still using it, and I just thought I needed another one, so I got another one of those. And then I got from some collection. You know how MAC comes out with these collections? I swear they come out with a new collection every week. Who can keep track? Anyway, I got this. I heard Michelle from Makeup Elmel Makeup MLC talking about it, and it's firm, something to do with ice cream. I don't know, but anyways, the So So Saucy, oh, the Soft Serve Shadow is from the Soft Soft Serve collection. Anyway, I just thought it was a really pretty peach. Um, my lights is really washing it out, I think. I don't think you'll be able to tell how peach peachy it is, but it's just really soft. It's real cushiony. It's just Really pretty color. I just thought this would be really pretty just all over the lid as a base for when I do some of my peach looks from the, um, the Too Faced um, peach palette. So I don't think you'll be able to see that, but it's just really pretty. So I got that. I 
it's really kind of funny because the, the lid right here looks like it's a really like a brown color but it's definitely not the color that's inside the pot anyway and then they had some items that were on their sale page so they were discounted and then I got an additional discount on them so I thought hey let's do it while we get another discount because one of these items I seen it I wasn't going to order it even though I heard a couple people talk about it but with it being on the discount I thought hey why not but anyway I got one of the lipsticks this is the brick candy um, lipstick from the Brick Candy Collection, and this is called Mind Control. The packaging, the outer packaging is pretty cool. It's got the skulls and everything on it, but the inner packaging is just your basic MAC packaging. Nothing to write home to mom about. Speaking of writing home, do y'all still, if your parents are alive and they live in other towns, do you write to them? My mama and I, we correspond more so with the letter writing than we do with phone talking. Um, so, anyway, I think the art of letter writing is a dying art. So, I definitely like to do letters to my mama. And every time she sends me a card or a letter, I always keep it. I have a little box over here behind me that I keep all of them in as mementos because my parents are up there in age and even though we like to think that you know they're going to live forever I know that that's not going to be the case my daddy just turned 86 last week so but they're in pretty good health for being the age they are, they are. so anyway I think um, farm farm life keeps them busy and keeps them active so I think that helps and then I got the nine shadow palette in the flamingo pinks I think this came back this came out like in spring early summer and I wasn't going to get it because you know it has these pink eyeshadows in there but you know hey I could probably use them for blushes but look at them aren't they pretty and it was marked down and then I got another discount then the shallow color it's kind of like a chartreuse green it's definitely a weird green but I like wearing green and it's very very light it does not have hardly any pigment to it so um, you're probably not going to be able to see that green but anyway so I got that definitely there's you know, it wasn't a total waste because there's probably like one, two, three, four. There's probably at least five or six colors I would definitely wear. I don't know about this blue here. I like blue. And I do wear blue, but this has a lot of glitter in it. A lot of glitter, but it's a pretty blue. Let's see. Let's do a swatch of it. You'll be able to see that. So definitely very pretty. Make a really pretty um, eyeliner. Definitely. So I got thought, and then I got two blushes again that was on the sale page. And I don't know what collections these came from, or if they even came from a collection. Maybe it's just discontinued colors. I don't know. But this one's called um, Life's Picnic. And then I got what's this one. Oh my. Oh my. Anyway, this one is Life's Picnic. Both of these, I'm definitely going to have to use a dual fiber um, blush or brush because look at that. I mean, it's washed out, so you can see the color in it, so just kind of times that by 10. But it is definitely a bright pink. That is for sure. I mean, look at that. Definitely is going to have to be sheared out. <laughs> Yeah, it's got some major pigmentation to it. And then the other one is called Oh My. And this is more of a melon, a melon pink, but just as much pigmentation as the other one. So, that one's that one. Really pretty. Let's see. Let's put it right there. So, that was the color Oh My. So, you might look on the MAC wet website and see if they are still available because I think these were like I want to say 
how much were these like maybe eleven dollars and then I got another discount off of that but even eleven dollars is not bad for a blush I mean that's drugstore price pretty much anymore tell you what drugstore makeup has gotten so expensive jeez anyway so that is it for this haul I hope you enjoyed um thank you so much for joining me I thought I had something else I wanted to tell you but I guess not um gosh was there something else I guess not we just got back from the movies we went and seen um Batman versus Superman mm. It was all right. Eh. I kept waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for Wonder Woman to show up. And she didn't actually appear as Wonder Woman until like the very end of the stinking movie. I mean, and then, I don't know, I was, just, I was very disappointed in the costume of Wonder Woman in this movie. I don't know. Maybe I was just expecting more along the lines of old Wonder Woman versus new Wonder Woman. But anyway, I just wasn't too keen on it and I'm not a big Ben Affleck fan anyway so I really wish they wouldn't have put him as Batman but whatever but it was okay it got us in out of the heat that was for sure so that was the important part all right well I have rambled on long enough thank you so much for joining me today and I will talk to you in the next video